there are three different terms regarding biological inheritance which seem to get all bundled in together and occasionally confused. There are, however, differences in the terms and how they should really be used. Those terms are DNA, genes and chromosomes. But what do they actually refer to? Well, starting with DNA, or deoxyribonucleic acid, to give it its full name. DNA, as the name suggests, is the actual chemical name for the molecule. It doesn't matter how large or how small the molecule is. If the molecule is the chemical structure of an inheritance found in the nucleus of a cell, then it is DNA. Much the same way that water is H2O. No matter whether it's in a single drop or filling a whole swimming pool, it's still water. Next we have genes. A single gene is part of a longer piece of DNA. A gene codes for a specific protein, holding information on how that protein needs to be assembled from the precursor amino acids. In this gene, it's like a single line of code in a computer program. Some of them are vital and others are hardly ever used. But without the, all the other lines of code, a single gene is useless on its own. Whereabouts in the program and the order of the lines of code, or genes, are change how the program operates. So a group of genes may control an aspect of a creature like, say, hair color or height. Finally, a chromosome is a very long strand of DNA consisting of a great many genes. It's all coiled up into a relatively small space. In many living organisms, these are actually paired. In humans, there are 23 pairs of chromosomes, whereas a fruit fly has four pairs and a carp has 52. In sexual reproduction, one chromosome from each pair is given to the offspring from each parent. That means that when the two parental donations are combined, the offspring then has a full complement of chromosomes for a healthy organism. In humans, this means that 23 single chromosomes from the mother and 23 single chromosomes from the father create 23 pairs of chromosomes in the child. One of these pairs of chromosomes also generally determines the sex of the offspring. In humans, these are normally referred to as the X and Y chromosomes, so the general impression of their shape under a microscope. A female has two X chromosomes and a male has an X and a Y. So a mother will always donate an X chromosome to her offspring and a father will half of the time donate an X and half of the time donate a Y. Which is why approximately half of the human children are male or XY and half a female XX. So that's DNA, genes and chromosomes.